Hello there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio Love reading. Uh, in this beautiful, abundant month of August, uh, Scorpio, this is a general. It's not going to resonate with everyone, so uh, only take the part that fits and discard the rest. Scorpio, thank you guys so, so much for your positive energy. I really do appreciate you so much. Uh, thank you, Scorpio, for being Scorpio and just vibing with me, Scorpio. You know that we are a vibe all by ourselves, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, we're going to start off this reading with some messages from the angel guide here. And then I pulled a couple of cards from my, um, was it Coffee Cup? Coffee Cup Oracle. And then we're going to go straight into your tarot to see who or what is coming your way in love. So, your messages is ease and grace. Mother, Father, God, and Guardian Angel here. So let's read them, Scorpio. Got to read them because you need to know what the universe is trying to relate to you. So this ease and grace, Scorpio, it says, This is a time to learn and adapt. You are being guided to slow down, take your time, take in the current moment, and allow space for events to occur. You often put too much pressure and expectations on yourself, and this is not required. Also, with constant, constant effort and rush, you'll find yourself becoming overwhelmed and tired. When you are too forceful, you use up too much energy, and that may hinder your progress at this time. Um, if you are in a difficult situation, Scorpio, at work or with other people, don't feel you have to prove your skills, talents, or worth. Just step back and breathe. And through grace, you will be seen, understood, and recognized for who you truly are, Scorpio. So see, this this no us, huh, Scorpio? It says sometimes you too often you too close to something. You just too close to because you know that one Scorpio says Scorpio intentions on something, it is a wrap. But sometimes we can be focused so much on it that we don't give it time to do what it's supposed to do on its own. So Spirit is just telling you, if you feel a little resistance, just step back. That's all you got to do, baby. Just just, just lighten the load, uh, 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 stop, uh, uh, loosen your grip, Scorpio, and, and let it do what it's going to do, Scorpio. And I feel like that's a very, very powerful message that we all could use, Scorpio. Now this guardian angel, this is beautiful energy, Scorpio. Absolutely amazing energy, Scorpio, because it directs you in the area that you can be in so that you can manifest here. Okay, so this guardian angel, Scorpio, it says everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them since their soul's creation. Now your guardian angel is drawing closer to you than ever, Scorpio. This angel God knows you, loves you, and accepts you completely. Before your incarnation on earth, you danced across the stars together. If you're feeling overwhelmed or alone at this time, know that your angel, God, is with you to share their love and make you feel safe. You never walk this path alone. Angels are always there to light the way. This card, Scorpio, is a huge reminder that you always have their support help and companionship available to you. See, sometimes we be looking for the world to love us and to make us feel safe, but it's not. It's the spiritual thing. You know, you can acquire anything of this earth if you're tapped into your spiritual power and your spiritual gifts and know that's how you obtain the earthly things. Yeah, you can get the earthly things through earthly things, but Sometimes if you're not spiritually grounded and focused, you won't hold on to those things anyway, or you won't really be uh, really appreciating them and enjoying them, Scorpio. So this mother, father, God energy here, Scorpio. Okay. Mother, father, God. It says, Scorpio, you are connected to the power of creation at this time. Your spiritual parent is enveloping you in their incredible love and filling you with divine energy and inspiration to help you move forward. This card is a message directly from the heart of God. 
It is telling you that you are significant and precious. You are loved beyond measure and the creator power is proud of you, Scorpio. You are being encouraged to have faith and know that everything is possible for you. No matter what you may be going through, you are always connected to the source of creation. Your angel God is encouraging you to remember this now. You see that? You see how powerful you are? You got guardian angels over you. And even in the extended, this talks about, it says this card also brings the possibility of parental healing. If you would like to clear up difficult energies between you and your parents or ancestry, know that angels are ready to help. They are guiding you to see the world through the eyes of Mother, Father, God, and to remember that love can heal everything. So even Scorpio, even for some of you Scorpios, there is a, there's coming an opportunity for you to mend things with your parents or someone that is connected with you, uh, uh, you know, on a family level here. Uh, but I feel like it's it's mostly uh, um, something that really, really can offend you, something that really can break you down. And we know that the love of our parents or the lack thereof, or for whatever reason it is, there is some healing about to take place within your, uh, your, your family, Scorpio. Between your parents and yourself, whether it's your dad or your mom, something is about to take place. Because you remember the last thing, it says love can heal everything. Love can heal everything, Scorpio. Remember that. Look, even if even if you don't want to ex back, and for those who want to ex back, know that love can heal everything. And all these exes ain't scum of the earth. Now let's get that straight here, because we were once exes too. And, and it's not always the other person's fault. Sometimes we have to look at ourselves and see what we contributed to the problem, especially if we are unhealed Scorpios, and we can already know what that be like, Scorpio. But it's a beautiful energy here. It's like nothing has to stay unbroken. Nothing has to stay. Uh, broken and um, damaged anymore. Now that you know that the spiritual realm is the thing that's really operating everything, it directs your foot. It See, the spirit knows what, what you're going through. This is why these cards came out. But it also reminds you that you are heavily, heavily, heavily protected here. Nothing can do you any harm. You just have to know without a shadow of a doubt that all things work together for the good for your betterment, Scorpio, because it's just a test. It's just a journey. That's all it is. And nothing is going to move you out of here, uh, you know, unless it's your divine purpose and timing. And I feel like you got a lot of obstacles to reach, Scorpio, uh, to overcome as well as a lot of achievements because it's coming. Now, over here, you got birds and you got dolphins here. Now, this dolphins car came out on top of this birds car, so I pulled them. So I said, okay, Spirit, this must be it. The dolphins say playfulness, cooperation here. And I have to read this because I can tell you what I say, but I'm going to tell you in the words of Amira, since these are her cards, because it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful how the universe works things out, Scorpio. Now, it says playfulness, cooperation. It says lots of luck, joy, and fun. This can come through friends networking, family, or attracting good karma and energy with or through others. You got somebody coming in here, you're about to have a lot, a lot of fun with, baby. Uh, get ready, Scorpio. You might as well bust out with them pretty-ass shoes you've been wanting to wear. And then this bird's energy, it says news messages. Ooh, somebody finna hit that line, Scorpio, and try to get your ass at the house. And you gonna wanna do it. You gonna do it too, Scorpio. It says receiving news, mail, emails, phone calls about something important or not important. Hearing some good news you have been waiting for. Some of y'all have been waiting on the right call to come through to take you out on this spicy ass trip or this date. You're about to go out and let your hair down and have yourself a fabulous time, Scorpio, because this is lucky energy you're in, Scorpio, and you are attracting it. I'm just pulling two of those cards, Scorpio, because we're going to move right on in to the tarot. Your overall energy is the chariot card. Ain't that something? Some of y'all going to meet somebody while you're traveling, Scorpio. This says strength of will here. 
See how you overcome some things? That way you can persevere and move forward, Scorpio. Some of y'all going on vacation. Some of y'all traveling. Some of y'all got new cars. You got new whips and you steady hitting them blocks about four to five, 55 times. You stunting on them and things, Scorpio. And you could also have a cancer that's trying to... Look, <laughs> the chariot card. Ooh, let me make room because I see this nine of pentacles again. See that nine of pentacles loves you, Scorpio. You just attracting the nine of pentacles. So look. That's what it is then. You got the chariot card. It says rewards for your labor here. Rewards for your of your labor. Nine of coins. See? This is putting you in the place where you need to be. The chariot card, the nine of pentacles. There's a lot of travel because your next card is the six of swords. The six of swords energy, Scorpio. It says better times ahead. See, you're moving towards better times, honey. You've overcome some challenges, Scorpio, and you're moving towards better times. You know you are in this nine of pentacles, but then you also have this three of wands in reverse, uh, lack of foresight. Someone does not see the same vision. Someone doesn't have the same vision that you have, Scorpio, and that's okay. That just means they need to get out the way. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Scorpio's love life, Spirit? Show me who is coming to a Scorpio in love. Who is coming to a Scorpio in love, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know and be made of? The Hierophant, religious tradition here. Something traditional here. Someone's coming in with a very, very religious, traditional way. In other words, they grew up uh, knowing their place as a feminine or a male. They know their responsibilities. They believe in settling down and building something. This is the type of energy. Uh, someone who is, is spiritual. Uh, this person, if this person is not into spiritual things, but it says religious tradition, then this person probably is a, is a heavy churcher. This person may go to church a lot and they may not even necessarily go to church is that they, they do have spiritual values here that they practice here. And this could very well be you. This could be you uh, practicing your spiritual beliefs here. This is the way you've overcome your challenges in order to move forward uh, in this chariot energy, Scorpio. Ooh, see? All right, Spirit, who is coming to a Scorpio in love? Spirit, show me Scorpio. Queen of Wands. They, didn't I tell you? Did, did I tell you? I tell you every time that Nine of Coins come out, that Queen of Wands come out. She in the upright too, but it ain't like I'm taking no reverses anyway, but I'm going to clarify. Look at you, Scorpio. Look at you with your beautiful, confident, radiating self, Scorpio. It says stylish transcender. 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 <laughs> You're a transcend, you're a transcender, Scorpio, on this nine of pentacles. Some somebody, some Scorpio is 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 building a fashion line. You're supposed to be Scorpio because you're beautiful. You got some shit that you be creating behind the scenes. And if people could only see your shit, Scorpio, some of y'all models, y'all, I see that model energy here on y'all, Scorpio. You a trendsetter. You don't follow what everybody else do. You do you, Scorpio. And that's why you're so different and so unique. You, you don't follow the status quo here. A balancing act. See, some of you guys are, are working on some shit and you're very, very busy building on your empire, Scorpio. Whatever that may be, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Scorpio's love life, Spirit? Show me Scorpio. Scorpio. Uh-oh. What is that? That's the impulsive. Is that the Knight of Swords? I think that's the Knight of Swords. Impulsive. Out of your death. And right here it says Champion of Swords. Okay, so it's the Knight of Swords. Also, it's in the, it's in the upright. This is the Knight of Swords, Scorpio. <laughs> Knight of Swords here. Oh, is this the right way? But this, that's not... So this, this means that someone is coming in to give you some type of truth here, Scorpio. Or someone wants to rush in to you. Someone trying to rush in to this independent Scorpio. This beautiful, trend-setting, very attractive Scorpio is what they want. They can't help themselves. 
And it could very well be that someone's coming in and they want this relationship here. Relent, back and down. Oh, I'm not doing these reverse. Okay, so you got the seven of wands, wands worth fighting for. Somebody's coming in here to fight for you, Scorpio. That's why they're coming in here in this Knight of Swords energy. They rushing in. Somebody trying to come fight for you, honey. Ooh. They finna fight for you. They say you worth it, baby. Ooh, Scorpio. They say you worth everything. Ooh. I'm sure they know. They say you a catch. Two of Swords. All right, Spirit Scorpio, Champion of Wands. And then you go to Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords swept off your feet. They trying to rush in and sweep you off your feet and they going to fight for your ass, Scorpio. It seems like to me, Scorpio, for some of you Scorpios, you got some younger energies after you. And you know how they, what they say, girl, he just young, dumb, and full of cum. <laughs> That's what they used to say. They used to call him jail bait back in my day. They said, girl, you're going to go to jail, mess with that little jail bait. That's all they is. They jail bait, child. Let him grow up. You like what he grown, girl, but he ain't but 21. Yeah, but he fine. You know how they be looking at the girls, Scorpio. They be looking at them like jail bait, honey. So this person, right, I feel like you got, you may have multiple people. Multiple younger, uh, very, very impulsive. You know how it is when they're young, they feel in they set, they feel like they can conquer the world. Somebody's coming in here to sweep you off your feet and they're going to fight for you. So that means that, excuse me, even if you may be, even if somebody else is interested in you, they don't care. They're going to fight for you because they finna come in here and mack you down. They finna put something on your mind, Scorpio. I feel like whoever this is, they trying to put something on your mind. I hope they can pull it off. messenger of coins laying a foundation see someone like i say somebody coming in here to put something on your mind scorpio i hope they can pull it off page of pentacles here laying a foundation is what it says see someone's coming in here to sweep you off your feet it's almost like they're trying look six of wands see congratulations this person is this whoever this cocky ass energy is they're determined to get you, Scorpio. And I feel like this person is very, very confident. They ain't shy. And like I say, you may have multiple people here. Somebody is fixated on you. They want to come in here and put something on your mind, Scorpio. Oh, and this is this ain't the type that you can let down and think they're going to go away, Scorpio. This is the type of person that, that's going to come for you. You know, like I said, like when we was kids, when we were younger, we, you know how you be with your, your homegirls and you sitting outside? Because back in the day, didn't nobody have no car. We just sat around each other. We may have played double Dutch roll. We may have did hopscotch. We may have played jacks. But we mostly just hung around and laughed and talked. That was fun for us because that's all we did was crack on each other. So we, we would see the little guys who had cars pass by. And we, hey! <laughs> and then when they come back, we run in the house. But this was Scorpio. This is the type of energy that's going to, if you say, hey, they finna come knock on your door if you run in the house. I'm <laughs> like, hey, hey, what, what, what little mama at? No, 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 no. I ain't looking for you, partner. Uh, what, 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 what little mama at? <laughs> that's what they going to do. They going to come to your door. This is somebody, Scorpio, you don't play with because they serious. This is a very, very cocky, serious energy. And I feel like this person, since they are showing up as knights, they're going to be very, very erratic and very, very hasty. But I feel like you can really have some fun. They're going to do you right. Somebody trying to do you proper, Scorpio. But you can't play with them, no, Scorpio. They're the type of people you can't hang up in their face <laughs> and block them. They're going to knock on your door, Scorpio. They're going to come up to your job. This type of energy you don't play games with, Scorpio. And see, you sitting here as the queen of wands. So you got all these little young boys infatuated at, at you. Stop playing with them. Leave them little boys. Leave them alone, Scorpio, because you're going to hurt them. See, that's what I'm saying. Everybody coming in trying to talk about what they're going to do and what they got and what they're going to do for you and shit. You running these little boys, Scorpio. Now, you could be a masculine or a feminine, but I feel like you got some younger people, some younger admirers that's trying to come in here and put that thing on you. They want, it, they, they, ooh, they want you. And this, this type of person ain't going to share. They high-headed. You can't nobody talk to their gal. They can't do shit. This type of energy, you can't go out 
You because you, you already look good. You can't go out with this hot head because they gonna show their ass. <laughs> they gonna show their ass. Oh, Scorpio, but let's see. This is what I see before I clarify. And this is exactly what I see with this Knight of Swords and this Knight of Wands. Huh? The Knight of Wands finna put something on your mind and sweep you off your feet here. And I feel like this the same energy that's trying to rush into you and put something on your mind because they're going to fight for you. They're coming in to lay a foundation here. It could very well be that this person is strong will. You, don't, you can't easily break this person. You can't shoo them off. They're coming. So let's see. Let's clarify. Let's start with this Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Remember, the, underneath the bottom, you got the Six of Wands. It says, congratulations. There is victory and success. This person wants to win you. <laughs> they want to get you. And it could also be that you're sitting here on your high horse getting a lot of attention. A lot of younger hotheads. Uh, this young, dumb, and full of calm. Okay? Is what I, I see. I'm just saying. All right, Spirit. Clarify this Champion of Wands. Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Why is this here? Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Not look, the magician card. See? This person feel like they can get you get, get what they want because a guy swept you off your feet. They finna come in and put some on you, Scorpio. Oh, they said, I bet I can get you sprung. How much you want to bet? Oh, well, now, little mama, if you ain't going to give me no chance, you can't say what I can't do because I ain't your age. I bet you I can get you, though. I ain't worried about the rest of them, little mama. I just want you. So you telling me I can't have you what? Because I can show you, little mama, you give me a chance. <laughs> they talking shit to you, Scorpio. I tell these look, ooh, they talking this shit, baby. Ooh. Clarify this champion of wands for Scorpio. Champion of Wands, look. <laughs> this Knight of Wands, Scorpio got the Magician and the freaking Devil card swept you off your feet. This person gonna try to put a love spell on that thing. Scorpio, look, the Nine of Pentacles. See, this person trying to have you all to themselves, Scorpio. Ooh. Do you see this shit? This the Knight, the Knight of Wands, the Magician, and the Devil card. This person, you, look, this person coming in to sweep you off your feet, I feel like they finna try to put a love spell on you, Scorpio. Or maybe this, maybe you've already swept this person off of their feet while they trying to get you sprung. It could be that somebody tried to come in here and thought that they was finna come in here and put that thing on you and get you sprung, but it ended up backfiring because they didn't know how powerful Scorpio in this Queen of Wands energy is. See? Ooh. Scorpio, see, you probably like, now what? Now what? I'm still saying, yeah, you, yeah, you all right, but it ain't enough to make me settle down. I'm just saying, <laughs> clarify this Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Ooh, shit, I say, uh, ooh, shit, ah, ah. Ooh, Scorpio, they said they finna get you, girl. Ooh, oh boy, they finna put... This is serious, Scorpio. This person wants you strong on them. I feel like somebody going to put something on you, Scorpio. They want to make you, make sure you don't see nobody but them. You see this, don't you? Because this is how they see you. This person is very, very selfish. They don't like nobody looking at their chick, just like I said here. This person trying to make sure you only have eyes for them, Scorpio. They finna put that thing on you, Scorpio. What they say? Put that, put that on me. Ooh, wait, that's what they said. They said, please keep putting that pussy on me. Put it on me, baby, because I'm gonna put it right back on. Let, let, let's be a, let's be let's be hook on each other. God dang it. Let, let's keep on putting it on each other. Ooh, Scorpio, they they finna try to get you sprung. <laughs> Oh, Scorpio, your person going to do a love spell on you, but I feel like it's a sex one. This person going to try to put a love sex spell on you if they ever get you in the bed with this Knight of Wands energy, honey. Oh, <laughs> damn. What's up with this champion of swords for Scorpio? Clarify this Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is clarified by the King of Cups. This somebody who feel like they in love with you. Oh, some or oh, then it could be somebody different coming in, Scorpio. Cause this this the Knight of Swords. So 
the, this Knight of Wands is somebody. Like I say, you are attracting a lot of younger people. Cause they 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 want to lick it and stick it. Uh, uh, thank you for helping me with uh, what would I say? You they hook shook and you said on the nook. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Yes, something like that. <laughs> okay, they hook shook on the nook. <laughs> See, they hook and shook on the Scorpio nook. That's what it is. Yeah, they just hook shook on the Scorpio nook. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got these little old boys coming here with their thing all erected. They they coming ready. God dang it. You ain't even got to wait. You ain't got to do damn thing. They come in ready. They're ready, able participants, okay? So this Knight of Swords is someone maybe, someone trying to come in and tell you that they got feelings for you, Scorpio. They're like, no, 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 baby. Don't, don't be with nobody else. I want you. Shit. Clarify this Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Ooh, you got the Emperor. Ooh, Scorpio, you got an Aries or Scorpio Cancer Pisces here. Now, I feel like you got different people coming to you, Scorpio. Now, you, this 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 uh Knight of Champions may be acting like a. I feel like this is what they're doing. They're they're they're. I feel like this person's very very impulsive, or this person wants to rush in. This is their action, but I feel like low key, this person won't. I feel like this is the only way this person can get this off their chest to let you know how they feel. They in love with you, Scorpio. And this person could be someone who is very, very serious-minded, this emperor. This could be a daddy figure. This could be a boss, somebody very wise and intelligent. Uh, someone who is very, very financially stable here. I feel like this is who this person is. It's taking a lot of them to tell you that they in love with you, Scorpio. And I don't feel like it's the same energy. I feel like this is someone new. This could possibly be a divine masculine of yours that perhaps maybe not have shown you and may have not been openly, but they're, they're coming in with some honesty. I feel like they're coming in here to tell you. What are they coming in here to tell, Scorpio? Look, they go, that king of pinnacle. Ooh. It just seemed, okay, clarify this, uh, Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Knight of Swords. Dead. Oh, this person did some transformation, I feel like. Because they're going from the Knight to Kings to Emperor here. Clarify this Knight of Swords. Ooh. Or maybe they don't want it to be over with. See? They watch you, though. See there? This person stuck on you, Scorpio. I feel like them watching you has helped this person transform some things or do some endings in their life. Or maybe you ended it with them. This is why they're, they're watching you. They want to give you this, Scorpio. Ooh, you got one person who's trying to come in here and do love sex magic on you. And you got somebody else who coming in here who you may not be talking to no more. Who all they do is watch you because they do, they, they are in love with you. But I feel like maybe in the past they didn't show it. Damn, Scorpio. Oh, this is deep here. Now, what's up with this hierophant for Scorpio? Why is this hierophant? It says religious traditions here. Clarify the hierophant for Scorpio. The Hierophant, ooh, snap. I say, uh, ooh, snap. You see that Knight of Swords, they're really in love with you because they got the King of Cups and the Emperor. I feel like this is someone who is very, very, uh, this is somebody who is going to make an impression on you, Scorpio. This is the type of energy that's letting you know that they're serious about a commitment with you, Scorpio. This, this person right here, although their actions may be very impulsive and rushed, it seems. But I feel like it's just because this person is, maybe they don't show their emotions like that. But they're coming in here with something serious for you because they're serious. And not only that, this person then caught feelings for you or this is just, this person, this person is, is on your level. But you also got somebody coming in here who is toxic as hell that's coming in here trying to put that thing on you and get you stuck on them, Scorpio. I see it. See, clarify the, see, they go to the chariot card again, Scorpio, coming towards, I feel like this person don't want you to be single, Scorpio, 
Let's see. Clarify of the Hierophant for Scorpio. Queen of Swords here. Ooh, what's this about? The hangman. So this person could have been involved with someone else, Scorpio, was why they didn't open their heart out. But I feel like something is ending. It could be that they ended something with somebody, Scorpio. See, it's like this person may have a choice between who they want and who they're with. I feel like they want you, but they could be with this queen of swords. And things are stuck and stagnant between the two of you because they still stuck on this queen of swords. Meanwhile, you got somebody else obsessing over you because they want to come in and try to trap you, Scorpio. See, this person trying to move, oh, this person trying to move forward, a single person. See, they trying to match you, Scorpio. That's what it is. See, this is what it is. See, this person, whoever this person is, they do believe in settling down with someone. They believe in relationships and building something. But it's just that they're in a relationship with someone who is just as detached as them. Uh, they're not used to emotions because they're showing up as the the, pay, the knight of swords. So it's, it's, it's a lot of impulse, but it's a lot of communication, but it's a lot of negative uh, mind things here. So whoever they were with, I feel like this person's in a dilemma here or were in a dilemma or this was what's going on between you and someone else. See, that's you, Queen of Cups. They were with this Queen of Swords already here. This is why this person may have been taking their time in the relationship. Um, things were halted between the two of you because this person still needed to make up their mind what they was going to do about this Queen of Swords. But I feel like this person's going to overcome some challenges because they're about to be enlightened uh, in this hangman energy. They're coming back to you, a single person. See, this is what it is. They're coming to you single now. See, that's what it is. That's what it is. See? Mm-mm. Clarify this Queen of Wands for Scorpio Spirit. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Queen of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Wands. See? They go that Seven of Wands again. See, here it is right here. Worth fighting for. They coming in here to fight for you, Scorpio. They're fighting because after all, all they do is watch you. See, this person, so some of y'all, this is your divine master. And for some of y'all, this person was in a relationship with someone else. But it was no love there. But they're in love with you. Ooh. And you done ended it with they ass. I feel like you did end it. Because this is why this person has to come in here and fight for you. You ended it with them and they watch it. But I feel like you got a lot of people watching you, Scorpio. Especially this person here trying to, who think they finna roll up in here with you and just put this thing on you. This is a soul. I feel like this is a karmic soul, May Scorpio. Unless... <laughs> Unless it's the same person, Scorpio. Let me see. Give me another card. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, Scorpio. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Give me another card, Spirit, for this Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Champion of Wands. by the champion of wands. Okay. <coughs> Balance. <clears throat> so this is a reconciliation energy as well with this temperance card here. So this person is really, really in... This person it could be the same person, Scorpio. This person is need to get a grip here because I feel like this person is sexed up over you, Scorpio. Clarify the champion of wands. The fool card. See, somebody wants this new beginning. See, whoever this person is, maybe it's the same, but you got you got Aries, Aries, Aries. You got a lot of fire in here. This person wants you, though. This is this is a this one, this this is an a, a obsession they have with you, Scorpio. It's, and, and I feel like, I feel like this is, oof. if this is the same person, Scorpio, this person is head over heels in love with you. And they want to be your sex slave. I feel like you done, you done sprung, you done got somebody knows why open. They, that's all they think about is your sex. 
They drawn to you, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, clarify this Queen of Wands with the Seven of Wands. Why is this here? <clears throat> Knight of Swords, because someone is worried and stressed out here. I feel like this person is worried and stressed out because they, they want the Queen of Wands. They want you. And they, they know that they're going to have to fight for you this time. Maybe this is why they're trying to come in here and lay a foundation now. Because maybe they wasn't. Maybe they were involved with someone. Maybe they were involved with someone who was focused more on their career than the relationship. But some kind of way, y'all done hooked up. You done put that thing on them and shit. Now, now they're trying to get rid of this, this, this Queen of Swords. And they were trying to come in and fight for you because you've ended it with them. Ooh, Scorpio, look. This what they want. This Ace of Cups. To who, god dang it? The freaking Empress. See, there it go again, Scorpio. See? You see that? That an emperor is. See? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it's going to come out when I seen that emperor. I already knew she wasn't far. For some of y'all, for some of y'all, Scorpio, you're not going to be single long. And, and I, I hate to say it, but this is just how life works. Don't you know that a lot of your soul, mate, your, your real strong connections with other people, they're with other people. And it's just like anybody that you find single, for some of y'all, it's not going to be the same connection. I feel like you, you, you put into this person's life, they were put into your life because you're teaching each other lessons. You have what they need. They have something in them that you need. But I feel like your presence in their life is to help them to stand into their power, this emperor, this uh, <clears throat> this emperor, so that they can start making the right choices for their life because I feel like they've been stagnant in their own life because of their lack of participation, just going along to get along, but they're still not happy. And for whatever reason or however they met you, it changed the course of their life. Now they are totally gone over you. So whoever they may have been with, don't stand a chance, Scorpio. They got you on their mind, Scorpio. Ooh. Ooh, this person said, ooh, I feel like this person just fantasized about putting that thing on you, Scorpio. You got the night of one because I, like, I feel like it's the same person. It's just that they're all over you. And they got somebody that they're trying to leave, but they all over you, Scorpio. That's crazy. They, they see their heart is open towards you and this king of cups but i feel like whoever they're with is not like that all right this messenger of coins land a foundation clarify this messenger of coins for scorpio spirit messenger of coins is clarified by the three of wands leo sagittarius aries energy so this is waiting on your ships to come in here. For some of y'all, you've been waiting. And for others, this person's been waiting to reach out to tell you, baby, it's me. I'm free. Because you got right here the chair card and the nine of pentacles. For some of y'all, this person couldn't, is, is, just can't wait to <clears throat> they wrap up whatever they're in. Because they coming to you telling you that they single and they ready to give you everything. Now, Scorpio, this person want to build something with you, Scorpio. <laughs> Clarify the page of pentacles, spirit. See, seven of cups here. This person is in fantasy. This person is full of illusions, but they're full of fantasies too, Scorpio. They're fantasizing a future with you. <clears throat> this is what they're doing. They're fantasizing about what it would be like in the future to be with you. And this is why they're wanting to come in and, and bring you an offer here, bring you something to lay down a foundation so you can see that they're serious about you. Clarify the messenger of coins. Seven of Swords here. But I feel like this person, I feel like this person feels bad kind of because they're involved with someone, but low key, they're trying to, they're seeing a future with somebody else. But I feel like they laying in the bed next to somebody that they don't even want to be with. And they fantasizing about you, Scorpio. That's what they doing, see? See, it, it's messing everything up. It's messing everything up in their life <laughs> about you, Scorpio. 
I'm telling you why, because they holding on to you. And for the person who they're with, they're holding back from them. Ooh, Scorpio, see that? This, ooh, it's like, see? This universe, there's another opportunity for the divine masculine, divine feminine to get back together again. Got the six of wands. Congratulations. Okay, so what's up the seven of wands? It says worth fighting for. Universe could be telling both of y'all. The universe could have told your person, look at now, the, 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 this empress, Scorpio, is worth fighting for. Don't you be no fool. Yeah, I see you with this one. And yeah, she's focused on her career. And But 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 she ain't giving you that kind of love, is she? I, I, thought, I thought you was ready for, for change. Like this one. See, this is the one that, that moves your heart space. This one doesn't. See, Scorpio, ain't that some shit? Because this person trying to figure out who they're going to settle down with with this higher fin. And they already know they're going to come to you single. Because there was too much stagnation with that queen of swords. There wasn't no movement. It's because they didn't touch their heart like that. Now, I'm not saying they wasn't impressed with them or, or cared about them. But I don't see no heart. I don't see no cups. I see the queen of cups. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Now, clarify this seven of wands for Scorpio. Worth fighting for, see? Ha, huh, there it go. They say they want this long term. They said that's the only thing that's going to make them happy is if they know they got to come in here and fight for this, Scorpio. Ooh. And Spirit could be telling both of y'all this connection is worth fighting for, Scorpio. Even if you have to fight spiritually, it is. See, there's coming a time to reconcile with this person. To balance and heal things between the two of you. <clears throat> now, I ain't talking about no scoundrel, Scorpio. I'm talking about somebody who was just in a relationship with somebody else. And, but they can't, I mean, you had to feel some type, type of connection with this person, with the emperor, the empress, the two of cups. Shit, surely you felt something with the king of cups, the queen of cups. This is, this is love here. The other divine masculine was the queen, the king of wands and the queen of wands. There was a lot of passion between them. This, this divine couple of Scorpio is a bunch of love between you and a lot of long-term commitment because this is exactly what the emperor and the empress creates. Ooh, Scorpio, this person. See, this person really has doing a lot of thinking here, Scorpio. Obsessively thinking. Seeing that three of wands, they looking ahead. They trying to plan for the future. And they probably still with somebody else while they trying to plan for the future with you and fantasize. And this is what they see. This is why this person said that they, they can't give up on this relationship, Scorpio. So it seems like somebody is choosing you over someone else. <sighs> Clarify the seven of wands. Clarify the seven of wands. Seven of wands is clarified by, look, there she go. Ha, the queen of wands, I told you. See, they say shit, I'm ready to fight. See, you got it over here too. See, see, see. You got the queen of wands with the seven of wands right here. Clarify this seven of wands over here. You got the ten of pentacles and the queen of wands. See? You see? You see? This person coming in here to fight for this guy, dang it. Oh, they coming in here to fight for you, Scorpio. They see a lot of things in you, Scorpio, that you probably don't even think that they see in you. This person sees a long... This person sees the rest of their life with you, obviously, with this two of cups and this ten of pentacles. Shit. Clarify the seven of wands. You done put something on this person. You got their ass sprung. So now they want to work as a unit. I feel like they wasn't working as a unit with whoever they was with. And they could they probably wasn't treating you fairly. But since this person sees a lot of abundance with you guys' connection, as well as love and passion, this person is knows that you guys are going to work good together here. The king of wands underneath the bottom. See, this person feel like when y'all work together, Scorpio, look, 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 I just noticed that. See, the, didn't y'all hear me talking about the king of wands and the queen of wands? They bag. See, this, this, is, this is what they see on the work level, Scorpio. They say the way they get down and the way you get down, y'all can't have but to work good together, Scorpio. See? The three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. 
See? Queen of Wands, remember? Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. This person, when they see you, they love how you confident. They love how you take action, how you pursue your goals. Because this is a go-getter too in this King of Wands energy. Even though they are the emperor, they're in love with you with the King of Cups energy as well as you showing up as the Queen of Cups. And now you guys are showing up in the King and Queen of Wands too as well as the Emperor and the Empress. So it's showing that unlike the other reading, I saw a lot of passion between the two of you. But in this reading, which is the still the masculine and the feminine energy, divine masculine, the Emperor and the Emperor, the Empress, you have a lot of love, a passion, and abundance. This is what they see with you. This is why they say in the seven of wands, this is worth fighting for. Because they say this is a hell of a teamwork here with the king of wands and the queen of wands. And y'all can definitely create this ten of pentacles uh, uh, shit. Ooh, Scorpio, I just caught it. I just caught it. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh my God, Scorpio. Oh my God, Scorpio. So it could very well, all this is the same person because you got the emperor and the empress here, Scorpio. They already see, see, oh, Scorpio. They see a lot with you too. You got the ace of cups here. They, they want love. This person is, was not getting love, Scorpio. You messed their head up, especially if you gave them some, Scorpio, because that's all they thinking about is every, they're thinking about your love, your loving, your wisdom, your, your abundance, your grace, your integrity. They're thinking about everything about you, Scorpio. And they say that connection is worth fighting for. It's like they telling the queen of swords to kick rocks and shit. Ooh, and she, she got questions, but I feel like they don't want her. So they finna come in to you with this chariot in this nine of pentacles. Ooh, Scorpio. See, this person didn't know what to do. They were stuck. <laughs> But that perception is changing for you, obviously, because now they're finna move forward and be single, just like you, so y'all can come together. Now you got the Six of Swords here. It says, better times ahead. What about the Six of Swords for Scorpio? What about the Six of Swords? Six of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Cups. So I feel like both of you guys want better times ahead. But your person, I feel like, is moving away. They're moving away from mental anguish, mental anxiety. Because you remember, they showed up over here in this Nine of Swords energy, too. Because they know that you're guarded and they're going to have to fight for you because you are the Empress. They know, they see your worth, obviously, because there's a lot of love that they have for you, Scorpio. So now this person just want to be happy and they want to be, they want their wishes to come true. And the only way they're going to do that is to move from wherever they were at towards what makes them happy, Scorpio. And I know that's you, honey. See, they finna come in and tell you the truth because they done ended something, Scorpio, or they're about to end something. Now, I don't know the time. It could be the past, the current, or the future, but I know this is going to happen. I feel like this is in the process of happening, Scorpio. And this person could be wounded, but don't worry about it. They've been through a lot. Just know that if you stick with this person, everything is going to work out in the end with this person. For some of y'all, it could be a Leo. See? You you guys are going to get... It's going to come together. Now you have the chariot card. Strength of will. Ooh, clarify the chariot. Some of y'all dealing with a cancer because I see cancer strong up in here. Clarify the chariot for Scorpio. The chariot is clarified by the three of cups. So this person is coming in to establish a foundation or a friendship with you or to reconnect with this friendship with you because they want you. See, they're coming in here to work. This is what this person coming in here to do to work on this relationship because in their mind, they fantasize, they visualize, they uh, they see a future. In their mind, they can, uh, oh, six, oh, they coming in here to give. They say it's going to be a balanced relationship. Y'all going to give to each other here. See, this is destiny once again. And fate, this is going to be abundant and luck is on your side because this person is going to do it right. They're not going to try to be with you and hold on to this other person. No, they're leaving that relationship to come to you. So this is why luck is going to be on y'all side, Scorpio. Y'all going to get y'all shit together. Y'all going to, ooh, y'all going to be balling. Give me one more card for this chariot card, spirit. Chariot is clarified. See? Six of swords. Because your person got the hell away, but they did it right. They didn't sneak out like a thief in the night. 
They didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't do nothing wrong. They did it the right way. They're leaving it. They're leaving it the right way, Scorpio. They're not trying to hold on to that person and then offer you something too. No, this person is ending it with someone and they're coming to you the right way. Now you have the nine of coins. Again, clarify, it says rewards of your effort, rewards of your labor. Clarify this nine of pentacles, this nine of coins for Scorpio. Nine of coins clarified by the five of wands here. So like I said, Scorpio, you always got haters coming your way because a lot of people may not like that you're independent here. So it could be a lot of competition. This is why this person feel like they have to come in and fight for this connection because they looking at you as being a catch. You nine, you, you independent, you getting rewards for your labor. You know your worth in this Empress energy. Plus you're beautiful and you're gorgeous and you're confident in this Queen of Wands energy. So quite naturally in this nine of coins, they already know it ain't going to be easy because they ain't the only one that's drooling over you. God dang it. <laughs> Clarify this nine of coins for Scorpio. See, they say you the mother star, god dang it. You see there? They say, I can see why everybody all up on Scorpio with her, with her his fine ass. She, you, you draw them out. You bring hope. You bring healing. You're such an inspiration to many. Baby, I fight for you because I already know everybody else wants you. Because if they, if they only knew how their love be hitting, then god dang, I understand. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. <laughs> Clarify the nine of coins. Some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius here. The hierophant, but they say, but I'm finna shut it down though. For some of y'all, this person looks at you like, like you're spiritual. You're very, very free. You bring in healing. You bring in spiritual motivation, spiritual encouragement. Uh, you help to heal people with your soothing energy in your independence, Scorpio. But I also feel like this person's finna come in here and try to get you because they don't want you to be single and they don't want everybody else. They don't want nobody to look at you. <laughs> this person don't want nobody else on you, Scorpio. I feel like this person's trying to hear him come in because after all, you got the knight of swords. They don't want nobody else to have you. It's like this person watches you. They watch people people's response to you and they're jealous and they feel like, uh-uh, this is the type of person that's not, not going to share their love. They want you all to themselves, Scorpio. And please believe, look, Six of Wands, I told you, see? They said they finna shut all this shit down. They said they know other folks licking their lips and drooling at you. They ain't crazy. Because that's what the hell they doing. You notice what they doing? Look, the Knight of Wands, the Magician, the Devil, Two of Cups, the Fool card. That's what they doing too. But they got it worse because for some of y'all, this person knows you personally. They didn't got a taste of that shit. I'm just saying. Ooh, see? Nine of coins, that's you. You're single. You're getting rewards for your labor here. You're Miss Independent, Mr. Independent. And a lot of people want your attention. And they know that that's why you got the seven of wands in here twice because they are aware that they got to fight for it. As well as this card saying it itself, worth fighting for. That's what it says. See, they know they got to come in here and fight for you, Scorpio, with this five of wands energy here, Scorpio. But they understand because they say you high ranking. They say they understand because you, you got pulled, Scorpio. They say that you're such an inspiration. You bring in healing. You bring in motivation to people. And they say, screw that. They finna run in here and they finna snatch your ass and get you off the market, Scorpio. They say they can go look and stalk somebody else because they say you, you there, Scorpio. This person trying to get you off the market and they want you all to themselves, Scorpio. And I don't see nothing wrong with a little book. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm finna say <laughs> This person in love with you, Scorpio, and this ain't no bad person. I can tell people who come from your past that got ill will. I feel like this is someone who you don't have bad blood with. It's just that they were with someone else. And I feel like you started focusing on your career and things like that because you realized this person was with someone else and that they were not going to give you. And plus that, you realize, God dang, I want my own. But this person has been feeling the same way about you, Scorpio. They've always felt this way, but they had that queen of swords. Ain't that some shit? But guess who they finna come in now that they finna fight for now? They coming in here to fight for you, Scorpio. And I'm telling you, whoever this person is, Scorpio, they gonna screw you every day. <laughs> I'm talking about they gonna get you every freaking day. Look at this champion of wands. 
This magician card, they finna try to put it on you, Scorpio. They finna try to put that thing on you because they want you as stuck on them as they are stuck on you. They want y'all stuck together and they ain't got eyes for nobody else but you and they don't want you to look at nobody else but them, Scorpio. Why? Because... It's, it's, this is what y'all got. You, you got the will of fortune here. This is another, here it is again. This is fate. This is destiny. You done found somebody who is obsessive over your love like you've always wanted. This person will make a fight over your love. They're going to give you all the attention. They're going to put it all about you. This is somebody who you can really, really grow and build your fortress with, Scorpio. I'm telling you, this person is coming in here to make it all right for you. And like I said, for some of you, Scorpio, this is going to be the person that you marry and you have children for. And y'all just going to live good for the rest of your life, Scorpio. Now, that's what I see, and I want to hear nothing. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. So if this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, Scorpio. Leave me a comment, and I'll talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.